This video tutor explains the various file modes. Let me explain the file modes using an example. In order to open a file, we make use of open function. The open function takes two arguments. The first argument, the name of the file that you want to open. Let me use relative path. Okay, and the second argument is the file mode for what purpose you are opening the file. So if you make use of R, meaning the file is opened for reading purpose. Okay, now let me store the answer in a file variable in a variable fs. So fs is a file pointer and it is pointing to the text file a.txt. If you don't write the second argument, by default it is R, reading purpose. Now you know that when you open a file for reading purpose, the file should be present in the computer. If it is not present, it's an error. You can see that. So the file is not there and hence it results in an error. The name of the error is file not found error. Now you can catch the error in your program by making use of exception handling you can process the error. For that, you can make use of the keyword try and this statement should be part of try. So, indentation is important. Try except. Except is followed by the name of the error, file not found error, followed by colon. So, if an error occurs, control will come here and here you can process the error. Simply display an error message. Okay, file is not there in the computer. So now when you run the program, program does not terminate abnormally. Program has processed the error and the error is displayed in the computer's monitor. Okay. Now, another important file mode is there is a file mode R plus. What is the meaning of R plus? R means reading purpose and plus means writing. So, this file is opened for reading and writing purpose, which means using this file pointer you can perform both the operations reading as well as writing okay now let me run the program again error okay file is not there in the computer so what you need to do understand is if you make use of r plus certainly the file is opened for reading and writing purpose but r plus will not create the file if it does not exist in the computer underline that okay so what you need to do is you can make use of w plus what is the meaning of w plus w means writing plus is the which means the file is opened for writing and reading purpose which means using this file pointer you can perform both the operations the advantage of w plus is if the file is not there in the computer, the program will create the file and the newly created file will be made use of. Okay, you can see that. <coughs> Save the file, run the program. See, error does not occur because the program has created the file if it does not exist. Okay, now let me write a data to the file. So, in a string variable, let me save a data. Okay. <clears throat> okay. And let me write this data to the file. So, in order to write data to the file, we make use of OFS.write. But the variable name, it is not OFS. I made use of FS. So, it is FS.write and the string variable should be passed. Once the use is over, don't forget, you need to close the file. Run the program. I did not display anything in the computer's monitor. That is the reason why message did not appear in the monitor. But you can see the data is successfully written to the file. A.txt is created and the data is successfully written to the file. Okay, so that is done. Now, let me 
go back to the program. So the data is written. Now using the same file pointer, let me read the data from the file and display it in the computer's monitor. Okay. So after writing, before closing the file, using the same variable name, I am going to read data. How do you read data from a text file? fs.read. So fs.read will read the complete data present in the text file from beginning to end. Okay. And that is returned as answer. You can store that in a string variable sr. What I mean by sr is string read. Okay, let me try to display it in the computer's monitor. <coughs> okay, so uh, the complete string read from the file, it is there in SR. Let me display it in the computer's monitor. Run the program. No answer. The string did not appear in the monitor. What is the reason for that? When you write data to a file, please understand the file pointer is at the end of the file. What is the meaning of file pointer? You can visualize it as a bookmark. Okay, so your bookmark that is layman's language, the technical term is file pointer. So your file pointer is at the end of the file. So the read function tries to read the data from the end of the file and from the end of the file if you try to read data no data will be read is it data cannot be read so what you need to do is after writing data to a text file <coughs> here you should write a piece of code to move the file pointer your bookmark move the file pointer to the beginning to move the file pointer to the beginning okay so here you should write the statement to move the file pointer to the beginning so that your bookmark is at the beginning of the file and after moving the file pointer to the beginning if you read the data the data will be successfully read and it will be displayed in the computer's monitor Okay, so my next video explains how to move the file pointer to the beginning of the file.